Welcome to Samurai Flag Channel! Hello! <laughs> I'm Yuki! I'm Pia! Okay, so thank you for joining Samurai Flag team, Pia chan. Arigato, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone don't know about Pia chan so much. Today's video, I would like to ask Pia chan. My name is Pia. I'm an artist and I was born in America, but I'm Indian. My parents are both Indian. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised because I heard from Pia Jam the reason why to come to Japan. So surprised. The most of people from foreign countries came to Japan because anime. anime. So Japanese food or to earn money. Oh. Okay. <laughs> when I was really young, I discovered J-Rock music, uh -huh. especially visual K music, and I thought, wow, this is so cool. And you know, I actually did discover it through anime. Uh -huh. Full Metal Alchemist, I saw the show in uh -huh. America, and the theme song was by Larkansiel. Larkansiel. Yes. And I thought it was super cool. Uh -huh. And so I wanted to hear more. Uh -huh. And I looked them up online. And then I found all these different bands. And everything was in Japanese. But I couldn't understand the lyrics. But it sounded so cool. Especially Visual K is uh -huh. very different from like normal rock because it's very visual. Yes, yes. Music is also good, but I was so interested and I wanted to understand the lyrics because the music was beautiful, I thought it was really interesting. Uh -huh. And so, you know, I would read some translations, but at the time, maybe almost 20 years ago, they didn't have all these translations online. You know, I want to understand this. You need to learn Japanese and translate. <laughs> For the first time I met you, you said to me the reason why you came to Japan is when you girl, you saw Yoshiki-san. Ah! In Japan, Yoshiki-san. Ah, so, so, so. Yoshiki-san. Okay. Yoshiki-san had come to America for an event, and I just begged my dad. I said, please, 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 please. Oh, we have to go. We have to go. And my parents were so supportive. She loves Yoshiki. Let's go. Uh -huh. I was the youngest person there. <laughs> he was so nice. Uh -huh. and, um, I brought the drumstick of mm -hmm. um, from the drummer of this band called Daring Gray. Hey, I had the drumstick uh -huh. of the drummer Shinya San. Mm -hmm. The drummer of Daring Gray loves Yoshiki and feel like idol. Uh -huh. So I had his drumstick. And I gave it to Yoshiki san. I said, Can you sign this? One day I want to be so successful and work with you. Uh -huh. Just the way Shinya san <laughs> has become so famous. So, can you please sign this? And Very this cute. is mine. <laughs> and Very it was cute. so nice. I cried and cried. After I was like, Papa! <laughs> oh my god, my dad is so nice. Uh, cute. I said, Yoshiki san, one day we will meet again and we will collaborate. And so, ma 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 yeah. I hope you will collaborate with Yoshiki-san. I hope so too. Hi, Yoshiki-san. Near future. <laughs> <laughs> Near future. <laughs> from Samurai Flag. <laughs> from Samurai Flag. <laughs> from Samurai Flag. I hope Yoshiki-san will check this Samurai Flag video. Please. <laughs> and now, so you are practicing drums. So, no, 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 no. After I met Yoshiki-san, mm -hmm. I used to practice six hours every day that I, I injured wow. both my hands and I had to stop competing. I mm -hmm. actually, I couldn't write or pick up a pencil for one year. What are you doing as artist now? I'm mm -hmm. a singer. Singer. I also make music, I do a lot of covers and then mm -hmm. right. I'm, I'm a painter. Sure. My style is called hyperrealism. It just uh -huh. means you make very, very realistic looking paintings. Uh -huh. main law, engage it's long. With <laughs> song. <laughs> Yeah, so because when I came to Japan, everything was shut with Corona, so. so. But I do karaoke at home in the shower. That is my own life. Your own life? My own life. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sure. So I would like to ask another question. Yes. So beside. Next Japan, beside mm -hmm. Japanese music, yeah. what do you like? Oh, Japan. Japan. Oh my god. 
I think Japan is such a beautiful country. In terms of nature, because it's an island country, you have mountains, you have beautiful oceans, you have everything. And I think Japanese people have a, just a deeper respect for nature and culture. The countryside is very, very like pure, it's like untouched, you know? Japanese people are so kind. Everyone is so nice, they always help. Oh, that's really nice. Most of my foreign friends, they were on my body. Naruto. Ah, I used to. Naruto was so long for so many years. I saw Naruto and it's still going. <laughs> so, so, so. I was like, okay. So, the One Piece, Papa. One Piece is still going, it's right? Still going, it's still... Yeah. But I used to watch like Terrace House. Oh. I love Oarai Bakui. Oarai Toka Downtown Toka. Nihongo Brenchi Shita Toki. Hey, 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 Toka Utaba. Is it difficult to understand comedy Japanese, right? It wasn't difficult for me because I like comedy and I think if you can understand a different culture's comedy, you actually understand a lot about the culture. I also speak French and Hindi and some other languages. So I've seen comedy from all over the world and I think you understand the people too. What do they find funny? You can speak Japanese very well. When did you start to learn Japanese? I think maybe when I was about 10 years old, I started teaching myself. I remember I was in India actually and there was an artist called Miyavi and I really liked his music too. Miyavi. Print out his lyrics and word by word, kanji by kanji, just start translating it. And then I was really interested, so I bought a teach yourself book, and I had so much time, so I would just mm -hmm. read it, and I, you know, learn hiragana, katakana, and then kanji over the years. Then, oh, like New York, they kiren na Nihongo ga shabere tomodachi zanzen ina katakana, hanasura menshi wo, honto ni dekina katakana. So, demo, sugoi. <laughs> so, thank you for introducing yourself. Yeah. I'm really happy to understand you are. We want to talk about India. The many Indian people eat beef. There are 900 million people who have never drunk alcohol. I think what's important to remember is that 